Welcome back to Oval Window Garage. As you can see, we've got a different outlook in the garage today. That's because I'm working in the parts washer. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna demonstrate how to back flush your uh, oil galleys. This is a very important trick. And if we wouldn't have done this for the moon buggy build, we would have wound up actually locking up the rear bearing because the one main oil galley was just compact full of something. We actually wound up having to uh, pull one of the plugs and drill and tap, clean it out, and then uh, replug it with a, with a plug. But here, let me show you today's candidate. This is the buggy engine build. That's what I've been working on here recently. And you can see I've actually got this, uh, I probably pointed this out before, but this is drilled and tapped for uh, to plug off the oil pump because we're running a full flow system. And I actually like to plug the case and the oil pump. That way you don't get any pressure in the crevice here which may cause to a leak you know <laughs> i know i know all these things usually leak one time or another but when you can pre prevent it it's it's the best and a couple of tools we're going to need to do this is we got to plug some holes and of course if you guys recognize this this is the send oil sending unit you're going to plug that hole and this also gives us the opportunity to to make sure that the threads are good which I've already checked it because I did this two other times. Once I first tore it apart, once I brought it back from the machine shop, and I'm gonna do it again because I'm kind of in the final uh, cleaning mode of this. And then the next step is actually gonna be to put the short block together. We are going to use a punch. And I discovered that these oil sump uh, studs and caps work really well too. These actually came out when I pulled the oil pan cover off. They actually work good as tools now, so that's probably what they're going to remain. And of course, you know, a nice parse washer helps. Something that you can um, plumb some uh, fluid through. So we need to turn it on. Hopefully it turns on. And here we go. Normally if you weren't using a full flow oil system, you would just insert, you just insert the uh, hose there and watch everything come out. But as you can see, peek around the corner here <laughs> I gotta plug that hole but I discovered if I just insert it fluid into that hole we're good to go but now the fluid leaks in other places and basically you got to plug your oil cooler but underneath here is where your oil cooler holes are and as you can see once I get those plugged we can actually see that the oil is coming out of here and it is barely trickling out over there this is one of the most important ones because this oil galley here is, uh, is a lot smaller than the rest of them. So we're, we are, before we move on to the rear, going to plug that hole. And now you can see that the um, fluid flows out of there a little better. And then it's starting to flow out of here. And that's a good sign. But we haven't seen it flow out the back yet. So we are going to plug this, this hole now. If you notice, these fit in there nicely. Now the fluid should really start coming out of this other hole. Yep, see? That's what we want to see. Now, one last one, we'll plug that. Now we'll see if it comes out down here. There we go, nice. That is good. I'll remove it. Cut it off. There, there's a good demonstration on how to back flush your oil galleys. It's very, like I said, it's very important to make sure that those are all flowing and make sure they're all clean because you know when you're getting the machine work done on these cases, because when you're getting all this machine work done on the cases, these cases, you don't know if you know the shop is doing this for you. And actually, Jim Green actually recommended I, that I did this. But it's just a trick that one of the old timers showed me when I first started doing this. And this is something that I want to share with you guys. So I hope this was helpful and educational for you. I got to get back to cleaning. I know you guys don't want to watch me do that. So this is where I'm going to sign off. Keep shifting those gears, keep cruising, and always enjoy the ride. I'm out of here. Before I was just another guy.